वेलकम टू माई YouTube चैनल मैकेनिकल मैजिक मैकेनिकल लर्निंग ट्यूटोरियल्स टुडे वी विल डिस्कसिंग हाउ टू ड्रो आई एन कैरमन डायग्राम बिकॉज सो मेनी स्टूडेंट्स इट विल बी हैविंग ए डिफिकल्टीज टू ड्रो एक्यूरेट आयरन आयरन कार्बन डायग्राम सो लेट स्टार्ट हाउ टू ड्रो आयरन कार्बन डायग्राम सो एक्स एक्सिस रिप्रेजेंटिंग वेट परसेंटेज ऑफ कार्बन वाई एक्सिस रिप्रेजेंटिंग टेम्परेचर इन डिग्री सेंटीग्रेड so some points you have to remember 0.008% carbon 0.18% carbon 0.8% carbon 1% 2% and important 4.3% and finally 6.67% carbon on to the x axis on y axis it representing temperature in degree centigrade so 1539 degree centigrade One four nine three degree centigrade, one three nine three degree centigrade, nine one zero degree centigrade, seven twenty three degree centigrade, and two one zero degree centigrade. So according to the first reaction taken place into the iron carbon diagram, and that will be the peritactic reaction. So generally, peritactic reaction at point one eight percent is carbon. and temperature 1493 degree centigrade and according to the solubility of carbon at higher or around 1493 degree centigrade that will be 0.1 percentage so just you can join the maximum temperature range from 1593 to 1393 now second main important point u tectoid point and that will be representing as a 0.8 percent is carbon and 723 degree centigrade temperature and according to the solubility of carbon at the eutectoid temperature 723 degree centigrade and maximum range that will be 910 to 210 so let's see one more reactions that will be your eutectic reaction generally occurs at 1147 degree centigrade and 4.3 percentage of carbon just you can join these lines so this all about the transformation lines which will be on to the iron carbon diagram so starting with the peritectic point so peritectic means liquid plus solid converts into the new solids so in the case of iron carbon diagram liquid plus delta iron so according to the solubility at higher temperature of carbon it forms delta so here delta plus gamma so according to the peritectic reaction liquid plus delta converts into the 100% new solid and that would be representing as a gamma austenite now second point u tectoid point 0.8 percent is carbon and 723 degree centigrade and according to the solubility of carbon into iron at 910 to 210 temperature and uh, 0.025 percent is of carbon it forms only single solid and that will be representing as a alpha phase of carbon so alpha ferrite so alpha plus gamma austenite another end gamma plus cementite the cementite is only form after the 0.8 percentage of carbon so at 0.8 percentage carbon or you can say at u tectoid steel it only forms perlite structure so before that it will be alpha ferrite plus perlite and after 0.8 percent perlite plus cementite or you can say fe3c so up to 0.8 percent is carbon that will be representing as a hypo u tectoid steel and 0.8 percent to 2 percent hyper u tectoid steel once again in the case of u tectic reactions hypo u tectic hyper u tectic so up to 2 percent steel 2 percent to 6.67 cast iron some more point in the case of cast iron category that will be u tectic point so that will be 4.3 percentage of carbon and 1147 degree centigrade so u tectic means liquid phase it will be converting into two solids so 
before 4.3 that will be hypoeutectic after 4.3 that will be representing as a hypoeutectic stills so liquid plus gamma austenite and liquid plus cementite cementite means it will be the enrichment by the carbons so in between gamma austenite plus cementite so that will be representing as a labradorite at room temperature cementite perlite and transform labradorite and above that peritectic reaction and eutectic reaction line it will be makes 100% liquid for any compositions of the carbon with the iron so that all regarding to the iron carbon diagram this is the simplest way that will be help to draw the iron carbon diagram so thank you very much if you like it subscribe like